Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music and Illustrator Dilly and Tony Pages. I'm going to start you off with um, a tutorial on Create Studio. I'm going to start off with a new project and I'm going to change it to GIF Test just to show you how to use some of my GIFs in uh, Create Studio. I'm going to change the preset to 180 and create the project like that. But okay, so it's a blank project. And now we're just going to add our in media, and I've already got on the actual one that I'm going to use, and the pretty reasonable ones. These are, and what it is is this dive save left loop three. Give right. I'm going to show you how to use that one. Right, so it's there. Look, it's come on. I just drag it onto the scene, and as you can see, the line in the timeline is very small right now if, we, if I play that that one will only do one dive right now that's be, that's nothing to do with the GIF that's to do with create studio right the only way to alleviate this to drag the length of this timeline line that's been made from the actual GIF to about there that way that will do three loops Right, so it's 0.5 from 0 to 0.5, so one length there, plus two little ticks on it, and just over. I'll give you the full amount of the three loops, right? You do that, there you go, and it should come straight back to the end there. That's it, right? So if you do want it to do six, you could carry on just making it longer and then go up to about 2.4 and a bit a little bit more than let's say four and a half roughly and if you do that that will do the six and you'll see here it works one two three four five and six and just about back yeah right so that's how you have to use it like that with the uh, timeline. There's nothing I can do about that with Create Studio. That's the way Create Studio works, I'm afraid. Um, that's the only thing you can do is lengthen the timeline line of the object to uh, create the amount of times you want it to loop. Right. Now, that's about roughly the size you need, like that, for each set of three loops you want. Then you double it. There you go. There. Double it again. Go up here somewhere out there right so that's what you need to use um, I hope you've enjoyed my mini tutorial and please contact us if you have any more problems either on doodly and totally PNGs either on my YouTube or Nigel's YouTube or even at Graphic Call right so um, we're always happy to help you and we'll try and do our best to sort you out anyway uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.